fellas, we are only 24 days away from Modern Warfare, which means the game is done, it's made, it's finished. Well, at least I hope so. Having some time to reflect on the beta, I've come up with a list of things that need to be changed or fixed, and if they're not, lads, I'm gonna complain on the internet. So feel free to subscribe and let's do this. So yes, this video is complaining and nitpicky because this game has mad potential and I want it to reach that potential. I have an idea which I've seen no one talk about and that is adding the Modern Warfare 2 perks for Legendary perks, Marathon and Lightweight. These perks allowed you to run for longer and run faster. So you could specifically build classes made for rushing and that's something that I think this game is definitely missing. Everyone says this game is slow and campy and if you try to move around you get punished for it, you get penalised. But if you could specifically add perks which changes that, I was, I was gonna say it's a good compromise, but it's not a good compromise, it's a good idea, it's a good addition. This could also help with another change, and that is to the sprint out times. Once again, that is how long it takes for you to go from sprinting to raise your weapon and fire your first shot. It's like this little feature thing, this timed thing, which can really make a COD game fast or slow paced. Now I've heard YouTubers like Exclusive Ace say that the sprint out times in this game are fine and are actually faster than the old Modern Warfare games and I don't really feel that, however E. coli Espresso said that the M4, if it hits a headshot, can kill you three times over before you can even fire your first bullet to fight back. That doesn't sound fair to me. You know, somewhere along those lines, that's got to be changed, so if Marathon and Lightweight could just boost up all those stats to make you faster. I just think that is needed in this game. There's a big issue which I do not see being changed, and if not, it's not going to come for a while, and that is kill streaks. When it came to Modern Warfare, there is something I always said is, I think kill streaks are a bit of an outdated system, but score streaks have just been overused, so I said why not point streaks? Modern Warfare 3 had it, Ghost had it, and it's like a mix between the two systems. But Infinity Ward went back to kill streaks, and I'd some people have a massive problem with that. I don't have a massive problem, but I can also see that, yeah, the system is kind of flawed, and that's why it was changed in the first place. The lighting in this game is dog shit. I think we've all experienced, and if not seen this, where in Modern Warfare, there's, it's literally just black. A doorway or a window is literally pitch black and you cannot see someone in there. All you can see is the name tag. The lighting in this new engine is just mongulated and it needs to be fixed. Like, because it's a massive issue. In Modern Warfare, have you spawned literally inside the intestines of an enemy? Or have they spawned out of your ass? Yes, it, it's happened, hasn't it? I'm sure with time it will be fixed, but lads, that, that got to be fixed. The spawn delay is suck. It is in every mode, for some reason. It's not a massive deal, but whoever came up with it, better be fired. When it comes to the minimap, at the start of a beta it did not exist, then because of community outcry, as expected, Infinity Ward added it back in. But not fully, it's really really zoomed in, and enemies do not show up, but I think that's kind of fine. But at the same time there's also the compass, but then the ground war mode had the normal minimap, it's really zoomed out, and when enemies shoot they show up on the radar, so I wonder how that's gonna be implemented. Are we gonna get the launch of the game, put our discs in or load up the application, and is the minimap just gonna be gone again? I hope not. Anyway lads, that is my main concerns with the game. Like I said, we are 24 days away, we are like the final stretch, and I wonder what else we're gonna learn. Now, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go gold or whatever, like when we actually make it into a game and they mass produ produce it in a couple of weeks, and then in like three weeks time people have early copies. So lads, stay spicy and I'll see you in the next one, cheers.